What's up guys, it's Michael from Lean Body Lifestyle and we're back in the kitchen with another recipe video. Now this past weekend I was actually sick with the flu so when I wasn't in bed watching The Office I was filming recipe videos for you guys but what we're going to do today is make some buffalo chicken burgers on the George Foreman. I had a ton of requests. People love the George Foreman for some reason so what I did was make a buffalo chicken burger for you guys and of course if you don't have a George Foreman feel free to cook this on the stove or outside on a regular grill. It doesn't really matter, but I hope you guys enjoy this video, and let's go ahead and get started. So what I have right here is one pound of ground chicken, and the first thing that we're going to do is open this up. Then we'll add the chicken into a bowl. Next, we'll add in a quarter of a cup of whole wheat breadcrumbs some pepper, garlic powder, and crushed red pepper. Then to give our chicken that buffalo flavor, what we're going to do is add in some buffalo wing sauce. You can really add as much as you would like, and today I'm using the buffalo style hot sauce by Tabasco. And our last ingredient, which is completely optional, will be two tablespoons of light ranch. So the ranch is going to add a lot of flavor, and a lot of people like to dip their hot wings in ranch, so that's why I'm adding this today, but like I said, feel free to leave it out if you want. And now that we have all the ingredients in this bowl, what we're going to do is mash this up with our hands. So basically, you'll just put your hands in the bowl and kind of scrunch it all together. So now that we have all the ingredients mixed together, what we're going to do is just take a little bit of the chicken and form one burger out of it. And we'll do the exact same thing with the remaining chicken. Now we'll just set our burgers on the George Foreman and we'll close the lid and let these cook for around 10 minutes. And after 10 minutes, our buffalo chicken burgers are fully cooked and they smell great. So we'll just put them on a plate. And if you wanted to have these with some whole wheat hamburger buns, feel free to do that. Now one tip that I have for you guys is when you get these out of the bag, they're kind of soft and squishy and they're cold. So if you wanted to set them on the grill just like this, face down for just a couple minutes. It will give the buns some warmth and also make them a little bit more crispy. So this is what the recipe looks like when you're finished with it. We have our whole wheat hamburger bun and then underneath that we have our buffalo chicken burger. This is going to taste great. It's easy to make so you guys should definitely try this one out. So that's pretty much gonna lead us to the end of this recipe video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. And if you're interested in a recipe video that I posted last week, it's a 10 minute meal with tuna and rice and broccoli. It tastes great. All you have to do is click on that picture over to the side of me and it will open up the video in a new window. But if you guys enjoyed this video, please click that like button in the right spot. I can't say how much I appreciate that. Like I said, I was sick this weekend and I didn't feel like making videos but the support that these videos receive is overwhelming. And I can't say thank you enough, and I really do mean that. Thank you all so much. Links to Facebook and Twitter are down below in the description. Thank you all. Bye.